Welcome to Classic Klondike Solitaire. Uh, today I'm going to be playing this game right here. And uh, I'm going to try to do my best to uh, beat it on the right. And of course explain my line of thinking more importantly on the left. So that uh, you can improve your odds of solving some of these uh, puzzles here. Uh, this draw pile right here has 24 cards. I'm going to wait until I know what moves are done here. Aces obviously go up to the foundation pile. There's only one move initially. Let's see what else is there. Oh, that's a good card. Okay, let's see what happens in the draw pile. Now, I like to save this card right here uh, for insurance for later. Uh, so we're going to hold off on that one. We'll see what else we got here. Uh, see, nothing there. May have to use the... Okay, we'll play this one and we'll play the next one right there. Okay, uh, we may play this, we may not. Uh, there's a lot of options here. Let's see what's under the queen. Okay, that's good. That's actually really good. Since we have this three of diamonds here, any two of diamonds can uh, get us open up this column. Uh, we'd like to open up this column so we can see what we do with the king or if there's another king up top in the draw pile, which we don't know yet. Uh, so we're just gonna play this down right here. Okay, four of diamonds gonna play that that is the last card and there is uh, the last two Kings are up in the draw pile so we got to figure out a way to open up some of these columns so we can get the Kings down and maybe move some of their cards let's move this three over here and that's a really good card for us now the question is do we play one of these where do we play the other one now I cannot remember in the earlier part of here if there was a black Queen or not uh, black queen would be important because then we can move this jack. Let's see what's underneath the king and go back. Ooh, that's good. Now, if we open up one of these other columns, we'll just go with this move right here. So let's see. This goes right here. Uh, this can go right there. This can go right here. That'll open up a column that opens up there. So the good news is we've opened up the column. We can play one of the other kings. Going to see what's under this too. And gonna go with it. so one of these uh, red kings. We got red king and a black king. Any queen we can move, uh, preferably a black queen, because then we can open up the shack pile. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we're kind of looking for a red nine. Can't remember if there was one. Oh, there is a red nine that was our insurance. Okay, so we will uh, possibly use that. We'll see how this goes. Oh, that's a good card. We want the black queen. Going to not play this shack here. We're gonna play out of the column because there's more cards in the column. Typically, I like to go for the column cards, but there's always exceptions depending on how it's laid out. Got the queen to play right there, and that's good. A red nine, we can play this. We've got another red knight here. We can play that out and uh, keep our fingers crossed here. What we really need, I think, is an ace of spades, and I believe it's going to be under one of these piles right here. So this might, might be a little tricky here. Let's see, four spades, no. Black queen. And nothing there. We have our insurance card. Let's see what how this uh, pile reset. Okay, that's good. Going to play the black jack, which allows us to move this red 10 out. And we found the ace of spades under the pile. That's very good for us. We're going to play these up top as well. And then we'll play the king at the end. And then, of course, we still have our red nine as insurance. And we'll see. Okay, we'll move that down. I think the two of diamonds is going to be in this pile right here, which might be a little bit of a problem for us. So we'll see as we go. Okay. Uh, black nine, gonna hold off. Oh no, no, two of diamonds. I misspoke, misspoke. That's really good, the two of diamonds is in the straw pile. Cause that means we can uh, move a few cards around here. So let's see how this goes. Uh, and we got the red jack here. And of course, I believe the black queen is at the toward the end of that pile. We should be able to get it out. We'll play this. Uh, four can go here. Six can go here. We're working methodically, getting these cards out of the way, and then going to try to find a move to get this out. Let's see. Yeah. I th no. 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 It won't be. Well, let's see how it goes here. Uh, there's a black six we can move that's good because that allows us to move the queen and then the red jack on the next time around 
let's go through it again here and we save this as insurance of course two of clubs I think is either might be under here unless I missed it in the draw pile there that we can play that card and we can play the red jack which is really good because we can open up this column right here which has uh, four cards underneath it now it has three oh that's really good and there's that two of clubs we were talking about right there and this should be the game I'm going to show you a little trick at the end with the draw pile to make sure it is the game uh, solved here uh, let's go oh that's really good and this five of diamonds is really good right here we're gonna play this down and that's that's our first batch our second batch is the eight Uh, it looks like uh, we won't have to use that trick I was going to try to show you because we can move all these cards down. Uh, the trick was basically you could pull this one card and then the next time around the 8 would come. Uh, and that, that could be important if you were kind of bottlenecked and you couldn't make some moves instead of pushing you know all these cards down. But in this case, uh, works out really good. And of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thanks for watching, and good luck.